Welcome to the podcast, which is all about the world of marketing on television through TV shopping networks and infomercials. Are we on the air? I'm your host, Sean Wilsey, and for over 30 years I hosted shows on cable shopping networks, generating hundreds of millions of dollars in sales, and now I want to be your guide into this world, explaining how it works, why it works, what doesn't work, and introduce you to the people who are making it the success that it is today. And today is our focus, although we will at one point be looking back, kind of ironically, at 40 years worth of this industry for reasons that will become obvious as we go through this because we're looking at where things are today what is going on how people are selling and not even so much on television but online because you know especially when we talk to marvin siegel who's heavily involved his father started qvc you know was heavily involved in a lot of online efforts and uh always something going on with him check out his website at y networks but um So much of what is going on now is online, and specifically marketing and selling products directly to consumers through Facebook. I got to be honest, and I might be the last one to know this. I did not know until last year how big a thing it is selling on Facebook. Now, I don't mean someone posting a picture of, hey, I have this ring for sale and putting it into Facebook Marketplace. I'm talking about with their cameras going live, selling products. I must follow a dozen different ones right now on my Facebook. Um, There's everything from a woman who sells quilts out of Anoka, Minnesota, one of the suburbs of Minneapolis, um, to people around the country selling goods in a format that is going to sound strangely familiar. Let me play an example because that's the best way really to set this up. Let me get this adjusted here uh, because this is an example of what I'm talking about. This is Crazy Joe's outlet. Crazy Joe, um, based out of Lexington, NC, North Carolina, Lexington, North Carolina, goes live to sell products. Let's just take a little listen in. You'll get the idea. We've got your Muddy Buddies, Brownie Supreme. Let me explain the video. He's putting up uh, a package. The the video, by the way, is only, it's a little desk, a little counter with the Crazy Joe's outlet logo behind it. In the foreground is a stack of little flip cards, little index cards with prices on them. Right now it says $1.50. And he's putting up this package of Chex Mix. Well, let him describe it. Still in date. Crispy corn Still in shakes, date, he said. pieces, and chocolate brownie coating with a delightful powdery smooth finish. Sweet treat for any time. Hello, Doug Everhart. And they're going to be a dollar fifty. Now, what he's doing is he's waiting for people who have already registered with his his outlet with his store to enter into the comments on Facebook, a code that they're pre-assigned, a numeric code, and how many they want to buy. Monta Irvin gets four. August the 22 dating, guys. August the 22 dating. Still in date, still good. Allison Cave gets three. Someone just got three. gets two. Someone's getting two. Julia Minton gets two. Someone's getting two. Bonnie Glenn gets four. Brenda... Wilson gets two. And it'll go on and on like this. Gets two. Until Todd says these are delicious. Someone just made a, a testimonial there. Gets four. Someone's getting four. James Raven gets and one. it'll just go on and on like Travis this until Brown he sells them out. Two. Or Sylvia until gets four. people stop buying. Do you hear the number of people that are ordering and ordering Kevin multiples? Boyd gets one. Deborah Kearns gets two. Doris Morrison gets one. How fast is he moving Trisha product? Medlin gets two. How long would those and expiration date, Kimberly Huff gets four. How many? Brady gets two. How long would that Carol sit Kendrick on a grocery store 12. shelf to sell as many? Someone just bought 12. Effie Atwell gets four. As he's selling right now. August 22. Yes, he said that three Diane times Phillips now. gets two. Edward Pegram Look gets at this. one. They're flying. Carolyn Mock gets two. And again, this is Michael regional. This is out of North Carolina. And so to get your... Chex Mix Muddy Buddies treat, you have to go pick them up. Hmm. 
This sounds familiar for some reason. People are, they have codes that they, they enter in order to get their goods. Why does this sound familiar? Right up here I want to show you. It is Limoges, and I think you'll like it. You got it. It's the only one I have, too. 102. Uh-huh. 6633. 6633. I've got you down. Thank you. Hey, thank you. Bye-bye. All right. The only one we had of those, we will move along. Put that right there. We had this on the other day, and, and uh, I guess we found a few extra ones in the back okay. or something, because I have just a few more. This is the 18-inch uh, neck chain on the... Now, that is audio that's 40 years old. You know what you were just listening to there? You were just listening to the original Home Shopping Club. It was called Home Shopping Channel. Go back, listen to my two or three part interview with Bob Sercosta that was done, I don't know, probably episode 10 or so of this uh, of this show. And he'll explain all of what you just heard. That was the origins of the television shopping industry. The gentleman was John Eastman, who would then become the, literally the first host on QVC, very first night. That is explained in my interview with Kathy Levin, which is a previous podcast you want to go back and listen to. So that was 40 years ago. What you just heard a moment ago from Crazy Joe is happening today. This is everything old is new again. These are people who are selling products. What, what you heard there was a woman on the phone with John giving her code. That is her customer number. How did, and this is all explained with Bob Sercosta, how did the idea of taking phone callers on air begin? It's because the host literally took the order. Because that customer used their customer number to tell the host what it was and what they wanted to buy. So that's the origins of the industry. It's back now, that original format. But here's the difference. This is being done by people like Crazy Joe from their business with their iPhone camera or whatever camera they have hooked up with very little television overhead by comparison. Think about it. When John Eastman was doing that show locally, because that person who bought the Limoges box, whatever the hell it was, had to go pick it up then. And again, Bob Costa talks about all this. And... Now, these people that are buying from Crazy Joe, or the one you'll hear in a second, are going to place that order, go and pick it up. It's the same thing that happened before is happening again, but without the studio equipment, without expensive television cameras, without engineers, without uh, directors and audio individuals, uh, uh, cameramen, uh, producers, all of that corporate overhead is gone. That's Crazy Joe. That is a webcam. And... That's it. As far as I'm sure, there's other people involved. Where do the goods come from, though? It is is a big question. We'll get to that in just a second. I want to play one more clip, and if you listen very closely, there'll be something very, very famous. Uh, if you're a regular listener to my podcast, in this, we're setting up to sell. This is a different one. This is Two B's Quick Sales. God is my witness. I watch this every time they're on. Uh, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, four thirty to eight thirty Eastern Time. I will put this on, especially if Jen is hosting. Jen's the host you're going to hear uh, in a second here. I don't even know if host is the right word. They're just employees of this company. And they just come out and help sell the product. Uh, but she she's my favorite. Bernie's the one who's usually on. Eh, Bernie's good. I think he's the owner of the whole thing. But let's listen to Jen set up to sell some Dixie Cups, a big package of Dixie Cups. 12-ounce cups. Yes, I know, Travis. That's why we give such bargains. I have the Dixie 12-ounce cups. These retail for... There it is. That's where the... Yes, I know, Travis. That's that, why that we That drop such comes bargains. from. Um, but, it, again, it's the same format. Um, She's just going to set up how much she wants to sell these for. Oh, this is, this is, oh, that's right. There's a reason why I'm playing this clip. I forgot about this. This is the other reason. I love this woman. <laughs> love what she's about to do. Because, again, remember, people have their little number that they, and they say, well, here's what, um, how many of the item I want. Uh, someone didn't wait for Jen to give the price, and they jumped the gun with the amount that they were going to spend. Um... First person, nine dollars. They're yours. Oh, we'll give them to Tessa for ten. She asked. I'm not changing it. She put it a bid before I'd had a dollar amount, so she's paying ten. It's the way I roll. <laughs> I love it. 
Oh, sorry, lady. You're going to pay more than I was going to ask because you jumped the gun. Oh, I love that. Uh, but 2B's Quick Sales, they're based out of uh, Maryland, and they operate under the same format. Now, here's where 2B's I, might have a little edge because they sell a lot of product from Kirkland, which is the Costco brand. Uh, they have Target items on their shows, home items. Uh, they, they have QVC items. They have sold Temptations cookware. They have sold fashions. They did an entire four-hour QVC fashion show. So here's the question. Well, how do these people get this product then? There's in the industry, in the retail trade, many times insurance um, purchases that the insurance companies uh, get a hold of. If I'm a retailer and, for instance, I use the example of a department store maybe that had a fire. And so I have some goods that um, have some fire damage to them. Then, when I'm filing my insurance claim, many times so the insurance companies can reclaim their money, they'll take those goods. I use that as an example because Minneapolis, when I used to live there, they had a store called Banks that would sell insurance uh, claimed goods like that. Uh, I'm guessing this is a very similar thing that because a lot of the products they will have. In fact, oh, I have another. This clip will explain what I'm talking about. Uh, dented goods, so to speak. Okay, this is the Pocky Variety Pack. There's supposed to be 12 in there. There's only not, um, nine of them. There's two cookies and cream, one strawberries and cream, and then six of the regular chocolate. Um, She's thinking. She's we thinking. sold it for $8 where it was... Um, She's thinking. Where it was... When it was full, so I'm going to go ahead and do it for six. Okay. First person, six dollars. It's as is. Okay, so again, th that's why I'm assuming that First what they're person, doing. Six dollars on the 847 gets it for six dollars. There we go. So she sold that. So what I'm assuming this is, is these are uh, insurance companies that will sell basically by containers goods and they put them up for auction. I would bet you probably have in your hometown somewhere some retailer that sells insurance overstocks or insurance claimed goods, uh, just not in this manner or perhaps in this manner. Uh, sometimes you have to do a lot of searching to find them. Uh, so there'd be scratch and dent, so to speak. So that box of candy was missing a couple. That can't go back into retailer's shelves. And so then uh, that will wind up being sold by these big companies, big containers, through companies that will either put them up for auction or whatever, and companies like this will buy them. And then, really, you can get some great deals here. Uh, they will on occasion have food items that are past their date, and they, and they well, they should be disclosing that. Uh, once in a while, I know someone will have to ask, but you can get some really good deals doing this. So what this is, is everything old is new again. It's the original home shopping channel format, but being done on Facebook. And as we look now at the new ways to market online, to market goods, uh, I, I love the idea that this is just small business because there are some big companies trying to get into the online marketing and selling game. Uh, there's a, a company I follow. Let me, in fact, uh, pull up uh, their stock information. Verb. Verb Technology. They're looking to start a very big online presence as far as selling uh, products go, online streaming. Their stock right now is at 63 cents a, sh a share. If that takes off, you know, I'm not saying to invest in them by any means, but, you know, that, that, that would be a very good uh, uh, investment if you got in 63 cents a share. Although, to be fair, what's Q rate at right now? Uh, 420 a share, which is, again, flirting with an all-time low. Uh, by the way, the next show should be about their quarterly results. Their Q1 results come out very soon. But anyway, I love the idea that this is small business. And go on Facebook and, and just do some searching. They're not sometimes the easiest things to find, which I think is such a shame. Uh, they're usually under live videos. You have to look, see if there's one in your hometown, see if there's one in your area. Once in a while, one will pop up that uh, is 
a sell is shipping. Uh, every once in a while, someone will try and register on QB's Two B's Quick Sale, and it'll turn out, you know, well, I'm from Illinois or something, and say, I'm sorry, we don't ship. Uh, but there are a few that are starting to pop up that do this because this is small business. These are individuals that have some form of a retail presence. In some cases, they don't. In some cases, this is all that they do. I love watching the ones where it's, and there's a lot of them, women primarily, from their home or their home office selling jewelry. I love these things. And by the way, some of these shows get hundreds of viewers. That crazy, I'm going to say Crazy Eddie, uh, he will have, Crazy Joe's, he will have hundreds of people watching his show uh, at one time when he's doing his. And so there's a lot of these out there. There is, in fact, I just popped up on Facebook right now. As I'm doing, as I'm recording this live Saturday afternoon, there is... 14 karat white gold size 7. Anyone know uh, this? Right out of 50 of a carat on diamonds. TJC TV. It was twenty eight hundred. Which I, I don't know how they get away with using that name. Twenty eight hundred dollars. But what? Only six pair. Ah, uh, these two uh, women. Yellow diamond earrings left. That sell a lot of estate jewelry. Um, it's a very uh, low budget operation. But that's why they only have to do that's it six hours. I think they do it six hours a day on Saturdays. And that is on twelve. And it's on Facebook. Now they also, I think, are on DirecTV or maybe Dish, one of those two, which I, I think, frankly, they could get rid of and still survive. There's 40 people a. right now watching and on this. this one, it's a 14 carat. And I think I have two. No, of sorry, now sometimes it's a little tough to watch because they talk. It's like two shows going on at once. You'll have right one talking to the yellow. operators so the and the other the yellow, talking the to the viewer, and so it goes a little and back and forth. But again, this is happening on Facebook. So there's so many of these that are happening on Facebook. There are small businesses by and large. Millie P's Quilt Shop, that's what I mentioned earlier, out of Minneapolis. Uh, and so it's kind of fun. If you can find one in your hometown, support them, check it out, and see if um, if there is. If not, again, there's. A, I was starting to say there's a lot of people who will just they'll be selling jewelry out of their home or they have a little retail presence and they will have hundreds of people watching in some cases. So I, I think it's fantastic. I, I support these. And if you are a listener of my podcast and you have one of these, uh, let me know about it because I would love to check it out and um, possibly, you know, even uh, give you a, a free little plug here because I, I, I love uh, checking out these uh -huh. things. Well, Orson Welles is telling us that indeed it is time to put the top on yet another edition of the show. Please subscribe wherever you get your podcasts. You never miss a show. Plus, you can listen to the archive of past shows. Like I mentioned, the one with Bob Costa, where he talks a lot about those early days of Home Shopping Channel. I hope you'll check me out on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube at Sean Wilsey and Instagram at S. Wilsey. Thank you for downloading this edition of Are We on the Air? This has been a King Bobby production. Ready for it? Here it is. Yes, I know, Travis. That's why we give such bargains. <laughs> <laughs>